Hey guys, welcome back to the Repairman for Life video. Today we have a handle we got to replace on this toilet. This is a Fluid Master Universal Perfect Fit Toilet Tank. Used one of these before, worked out real good. And we're going to put it on this toilet right here. So let's get started on it. First thing we're going to do is get us some gloves. Why do you wear them gloves, man? Alright, first thing you want to do is take your top off. Just top off out of the way. Let's see here. We're going to turn the water off and make it a little easier on us. Go ahead and flush your toilet, get the water out the tank, make it a little easy on you. All right, we got our channel locks here. And to unscrew this lever here, you're gonna have to turn it clockwise. Counterclockwise tightens it, so you want to turn it clockwise to take it off there. Okay. Okay, you have your little hook here that holds your flap on. You just push push that. It's a look, it's a small clip right there. You just push it in. That little clip. And that'll pop it off. So we're gonna lay that down. Pull the nut off. We got the old one out. in with this new one here. Get this thing wrapped up man. Alright, here's a look at the new one, the Fluid Master. Like I said, use one of these. I believe you push this in, there you go. And you can adjust it. Or whatever you need. It's got this set and it'll push it back if you need a little shorter. Get my glove coat. So you can adjust the length of this and then you can actually turn this whatever angle you need on the bottom here. So you can turn this if you need to change angle depending on how you, the shape of your tank is. And I believe this thing's a quick connect here. Let's see. There we go. So it just pulled, this basically just pulls out. It's got these two clips on it. And those clips are going to clip right underneath that. When you push it together, it's going to pop on there. So you got to take that apart first. And then this is clockwise. So I'm turning it clockwise to take the screws off. Okay. So what you want to do, you got your little square insert there. Just line that up into there. And then we're going to put it on counterclockwise. All right, we got that nice and snug. Let's see, we don't need that there. So now we're going to push this on. and got all knotted up. They'll do that sometimes. Take your time. There we go. All right, so we got a little, just a variety of different holes in there. So you can adjust it. I'm not wanting it to come up above here so it doesn't hit the tank top. Okay. Let's turn the water back on. The 
this flapper needs to be adjusted anyway. So to adjust it, we're just gonna take the little hook loose. Well, y'all can see that. Right. It's a three and a half gallon. Needs to be it needs to be kind of taken out and uh, installed a more efficient toilet in it. Customer's not going to do that this time. What I'm attempting here is to take your slack out of this thing. There we go. All right. So taking the slack of that thing so it doesn't get underneath that flapper. You want to make sure that this does not get underneath that flapper or the toilet's going to continue to run. Hey guys, if these videos are helping you and they're informational in any way, Hit that like and subscribe button so we can help grow the channel. We'll really appreciate that. Alright, we're filling on up. These three and a half gallons take forever to fill up. Almost there. There we go, we finally stopped. Alright, let's see. Let's do it when we get on. Those gloves keep on trying to get caught up in everything. There we go. Now you can see that it's flapper. Is not going to get 
This chain is not got enough slack to get underneath that flapper. Flapper needs to be replaced soon too. All right, guys, that's our video for the moment. Installing a Fluid Master perfect toilet tank lever. Worked out pretty good. Picked these up at Lowe's Home Improvement Center. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.